Oh my god, it feels so good to just like piss out your window. What? Never try this, Miamians and Twixens. Only Xena can get away with this because like at the end of the day, Xena's gonna look, at the, look back at this and she's gonna literally pull the Darius card and be like, it's content. But reality, this ain't content right now. This is reality. I don't feel like going out my door and going into the bathroom. Ah, uh, what is up, y'all? Welcome back and. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? You know, isn't that just some of the most entertaining content you've ever laid eyes on? And from such a respectable young woman, if I do say myself, you know, Ayo, check your chat, queen. I left you a little something something. After all, you truly earned it with this groundbreaking content. But anyway, I was on Twitter about a day or two ago, saw this making its rounds, and I wanted to make a video on it, but just never really got around to it, truth be told. That is until today, so... There is always vile shit to make fun of over on Twitter, and this is no exception. Some of these female streamers be wild, bro. Like, straight up, how we still debating the whole gay son versus thought daughter argument? <laughs> That's beyond me, but I love how narcissistic she is and how she educates us, the viewer, on how we should not be doing that, and then proceeds to do it. Like, yeah, I didn't need some kick thought telling me I shouldn't expose myself out a goddamn window. I think we've got all that covered, but anyway, yeah, you, you saw the clip, but the thrilling saga, believe it or not, does not actually end there. And today I figured we could see what she had to say about all this. Let's go ahead and jump into it. But before we do, if you're new around here and you weren't absolutely traumatized by that opening clip, Subscribe to the channel, man. We on our way to 300 subs here, and I'd really hate for you to not get any bitches because it's a scientific fact that if you don't subscribe, you get no bitches, and you'd hate to see that. But yeah, let's let's roll this shit. I'm sure it'll be oh so educational. Girl, you mad that I could pull my pants down, piss out a window, and go viral, and you do all this shit, and you still ain't nobody? I said I would help you. I said I'd get you on some big ass podcasts. I mean. You just don't got a character. You have no personality that's ever going to do anything. So it's like, I can only lead the horse to water, but you a Down syndrome ass horse. You don't know how to drink water. You be trying to fucking lick the tree. Thinking water going to come out the tree. So that's you. That ain't me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that uh, I'm known. I'm sorry that everything I do gets attention. Like, I don't got to try hard. What a clap back. Holy shit, oh my god. Let's uh, let's go ahead and break this down. So, I don't even know where to start, but I'll try my best. So, first and foremost, I think I speak for a vast majority of the bros and perhaps even a lot of the girls here too. Not the girls watch my channel. I'd be shocked if they did. If you do, let me know because I'm kind of curious. But I, I think I speak for a lot of y'all when I say this degenerate behavior, this foddery, if you will, isn't the flex she makes it out to be like oh you're mad because i can piss out a window and go viral and you doing all this shit and still ain't going viral right like guess what any basic bitch could piss out a window and get attention because it's degeneracy and that type of behavior unfortunately gets clicks it's it's no secret right this kind of shock value bs always goes viral Content doesn't have to be good to go viral or at least semi-viral. I mean, my videos are living proof of this. And also, this was clearly for attention. I mean, the mere fact that going viral, mad flexing it, is all she can talk about is clear evidence of that. And I know, this comes as a complete shock to all of us, I know. It doesn't. But the reason I mention this is because she was specifically quoted saying it wasn't for attention and that this was real shit and she just didn't want to use the bathroom like a normal fucking human being. Y you know, God forbid you have to take two steps out of your room. Th th this girl is just so clearly desperate for attention yet provides nothing of substance to the table. So what does she do? You know, goes to Old Reliable, you know, pops out the old Arby's roast beef and cheddar out the window for potential ongoing spectators. And I know people will defend this. They, they always do, you know, saying things like, oh, well, actually, you know, the likelihood of anyone seeing this is so slim or she's just pissing, bro. It's a normal bodily function. I can hear them all. But that, that, that doesn't justify indecent exposure because that's what this is, you know, regardless of how you weirdos want to spin it. And furthermore, homeowners aren't trying to see that. 
because let's be honest it, it's inappropriate it's gross you know a lot of them probably have kids and quite frankly the smell of that alone probably dropped all nearby homes property value significantly so now you've got that weighing on your conscience you know hope it was worth it but like ruthless bullying aside the narcissism and lack of self-awareness here is insane you know talking like she's somebody before all this and how she's got some big podcast she was gonna put this person on like like pipe down shut up bitch <laughs> Like seriously, who the fuck are you coming out here like you're on the come up? You know, miss me with that. And how are you gonna tell someone they got no character or personality? Like, I, I I know the hoe pissing out the window shamelessly revealing her fountain snatch to the world ain't talking about character and personality. Like, your only talent is you're an attention-seeking thought. Like, come on. And, th and that last part where she reiterates her delusional thought process, you know, sorry, I've got it and that I'm somebody and I don't have to try hard. Like, again, you are trying hard. That's the whole point here. There's no way around it. You know, you're not known. You've never gotten any attention ever, clearly, not even from your dad. Like, like seriously, who the fuck are you? Like, I'm so confused. And you're so desperate for attention because you lack character and personality. And so you took the low-hanging fruit. You know, did some ignorant hoe shit. Like, she can't seriously believe what she's saying. This has got to be some sick rage bait prank or something, right? Like, like she's tugging my chain, I think. This can't be real life. This may be the most delusional, self-absorbed streamer we've ever made fun of, ever. And it still doesn't end there. To top it all off, as if it couldn't possibly get any worse, you know, she's out here on another kick stream, I think like just a day later from all of this, saying racial slurs too. Called a either called someone the n-word or said the n-word i don't know you shouldn't you shouldn't be saying that she shouldn't be saying that bottom line same sort of thing as before she's saying it for attention because there was no reason to say it whatsoever she just said it for the sake of saying it just to, to piss some people off it's really what i think just by watching the clip i'm not gonna show that clip due to time here but i promise if you look it up on twitter you'll find it if you're curious it's disgusting her name's like xena the witch or something you type that into twitter you, you'll pull it up in no time but uh yeah guys that's about wraps on this one you know pretty tough watch i know but you know you can applaud you know feel good about yourself because we made it and i appreciate y'all for watching and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this, and definitely leave your thoughts down below. I would absolutely love to hear what y'all have to say about this. And honestly, I, I can't take another second of this. I'm cutting the recording a little bit short because honestly, I gotta piss out my window right now, you know, reveal my cock and balls to the world and uh, get some attention on the internet for it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.